Hi everyone, how are you today? Lisa here from South Florida. Just wanted to come on. I am honoring the commitment to myself to get back in to doing these videos because I know it's helping myself as well as helping others of things that are going on in the world right now. So welcome everybody. And I just wanted to go on to my Facebook. I'm gonna share my screen because I wanna introduce myself in a way to show you what I do. And I wrote out in the about part of my bio about the work that I do. So I wanna read that instead of just verbalizing it to you. So I'm gonna go share my screen and I'm just gonna pop into my Facebook bio. Let's see, I have it up, okay. Okay. So this is my bio. I want to read this under where it says crystalline hula hoop because you can see there are a lot of things that I do. I'm a registered nurse of 36 years, a little over 36 years right now. And I retired myself about 13 years ago and I had my own business from home and I was developing my coaching and my healing during that time as well. And I am also certified as a breakthrough coach and I am a seven figure earner in a, um, in a company um, with nutritional cleansing and weight loss. And I have had my own business, um, purifyyourlife.com since 2006. So when I left nursing for tax write-offs and to brand myself a little bit more, I came up with the name Purify Your Life. And I use that pretty much in everything. So my Purify Life Incorporated is me. These are just some of the healing things that I do. And I'll give you a little taste of the light language because not many people know what that is. I also endorse single mom's freedom. I've been divorced since 2003, separated in 2002. And I've raised my three kids pretty much by myself during that time, ever so grateful. My kids are now 22, 24. Oh my gosh, no, Zach just turned 25 and 27. So, okay, I just wanna read this to you. The crystalline hula hoop, as you all know, I mentioned in, in another video, is a trademark that I had going on. And it got it went through, got the name, have serial number for it, and the crystalline hula hoop, there's a lot of meaning towards that. But the Whammo company, the inventor of hula hoop and the Frisbee <laughs> put an opposition in. I'm laughing because it's still like blowing my mind with that where I can't use the hula hoop. So I'm moving the hula hoop to Crystalline Gateway. Okay, so this is me, Lisa Bazanza. I am an RN, it's not in here. Healer, intuit, wellness coach, life coach, way shower, empath, soul reader. Mom, RN, and business coach. As a 3D spiritual life coach, I help women who struggle with self-awareness, trusting their inner guidance system and limiting beliefs to bring out their inner wisdom so they can have clarity, balance, and confidence in becoming that 5D kick-ass wonder woman they deserve to be. An RN of over 36 years, a mom, single mom of three, quantum healer, and business owner, I assist people globally to let go and break through of their fear, self-sabotaging thoughts, behaviors, and self-worth issues, to experience inner peace, self-confidence, empowerment, and a knowing of their soul's purpose. My intention is to provide knowledge from the holistic perspective, including physical, emotional, mental, and spiritual approaches to healing of the mind-body connection as well for branding and producing in business for entrepreneurs. Again, I am in a retired RN of over 36 years and a single mom of three awesome kids. Been there, done that attitude. I have mastered the skills that broke me through this 3D matrix into higher states of consciousness. It is now my mission, my movement, and my calling to assist as many enlightened souls as I can tap into their divine light and step into the power that lead to an abundant life. So that in a nutshell is my, my mission. That's my soul. That's my purpose. That's why I'm here. I've been on Facebook, I believe since 2009, maybe 2000, no, 
yeah, maybe 2006, 2009 in there. And then through the years, I've developed myself, went through my own journeys. I've been on this path since the 80s, done healing since then. I'm certified in many areas. And the rest of it is just knowing, like it says, been there, done that. And the best teacher is one who's been through and have done has done the journey themselves. And as you notice, when it says to become the 5D kick-ass Wonder Woman, to me, Wonder Woman is the embodiment of divinity. She is kick-ass. She's a humanitarian. She's in her power. She's a way shower. It's all the things that I just love and want to assist people to becoming because I was in that place too and becoming, still becoming, we're always learning. We're still always learning, including myself um, to become that embodiment, right? I just think she's great. So that's what I wanted to say here. And for those, you know, I've done light language in the past. So what I wanna do is just share a little bit of the light language so you know what that is. I do my channeling through the light language. Actually, it was downloaded to me in 2020. And I didn't know what it was when it came in and I started speaking this language and it's a high divinity language and it's Christ-based and galactic-based. It's just very, very high. It's a very high consciousness and a language that comes through and it helps bring in the light and center the light and help me with my healing to remove blocks, help with grid work, especially around the planet individually and um, to help heal. So the light language, you can see some people write it and it's very cool to write. And this language is amazing. And um, so this is what it sounds like. I'm gonna see if I can channel a little bit of it to you. Manasatakroshina <laughs> Okay, so I can keep going on with that. And many of you may feel the vibration of that. You're not going to know what that means. Your soul will know what that means because that goes very deep into a cellular level, right? Your soul knows what I said. And some of you may feel a vibration from that, right? So in the beginning, I just let it flow and I wasn't thinking, but in the beginning, it was my divinity to your divinity and to be aware of unconditional love and your inner guidance system and have faith Everything is working out perfectly the way it's supposed to be. And then I let go. And then I just did that. So that's a little bit of the light language. I also do blessings. I am a blesser for the Art of Living Foundation. Uh, if any of you have heard of that, I have a teacher in India, um, Guru Dev Shishi Ravashankar. And I do blessings. And it, again, it's my higher consciousness and my love and divinity to yours and it's a soul connection. And I've done a lot of blessings for people um, on these calls, on these Zooms that I do, and it's amazing. So I'm just gonna do another little blessing for you, right? There is so much energy coming and we can all use this boost. Okay, so for all of you who don't know this, close your eyes. This for it's only gonna take a few seconds. Close your eyes, I'm gonna tune in. And then when I'm done, I'm gonna say Jay Gurdav. And when you're ready, open your eyes, okay? Okay, so close your eyes. I'm gonna stand up. Okay, close your eyes. Okay, here it comes.
and jag her down. You can open your eyes when you're ready. You can go back and do this recording. And again, we can do this one-on-one. -on -one. You should feel peace, more centered. Some people feel energy going down their spine. Okay, good. Look at the new bracelet I got. Somebody gifted me this amazing bracelet. Can you see? It's fluorite. It's so pretty. Okay. So lastly, just want to say with these energies and moving into 2023, the best thing to do is to find your discernment and how do you discern? When you're listening to things, when you're around people, when you're in situations, if it's not giving you a good feeling, if you're not feeling unconditional, unconditional love, detach. That's not for you. Listen to what you're being called to do. And when you're manifesting, you want to make sure you're watching your thoughts, your words, your actions, what you're visualizing. Hone into that with feelings of joy and passion and happiness of what you want to create and let it go and let God do the rest. All you're required to do, think, speak, believe with certainty, hold it, feel the joy and let it go. And let God and the universe do the rest to create. All right, everybody have a wonderful, wonderful day and a Merry Christmas. Happy holidays, happy Hanukkah, and we'll talk soon. Okay, bye for now.